me, Miguel. Diego, I'm afraid if we don't leave for the Hacienda soon, Uncle Alejandro will begin to worry. Yes, uh, he is expecting us, isn't he? Uh, you're visiting a relative? No, I just call him uncle. Actually, Don Alejandro's a boyhood friend of my father's. Ah. Well, I do wish we had more time to talk. It's been so long since we've seen each other. Yes, it has. Perhaps we shall meet again. Someday. I hope so. Goodbye, Miguel. Goodbye, Constancia. Please, both of you. You're breaking my heart. Senor, it would be our pleasure to have you to supper tonight. Oh, gracias, no, Don Diego. I wouldn't want to intrude, senor. Miguel. Well, perhaps after supper. All right, I will. Good, until then. Sergeant certainly amazes me. Gracias, Don Diego. That the floor is still beneath us amazes me. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Clark, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Forgive me, Constancia, but I must inspect the carriage from Santa Barbara. Oh, pooh. Now, you're not to keep the sergeant from doing his duty. You uh, wouldn't want Los Angeles overrun by criminals, would you? Oh, all right. I'll walk you to your horse, Uncle Demetrio. Good. Oh, uh, 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 good night, Don Diego, Don Alejandro. Good night, Sergeant. Uncle Demetrio. <laughs> you know, anyone who overheard Costancia talking about her Uncle Demetrio and Uncle Alejandro might possibly think that you and Sergeant Garcia were brothers. Not by the wildest stretch of the imagination. Oh, you will be nice to him, won't you, Uncle Alejandro? What is this, Constancia? A romance? No, he's just a friend. Whom she hasn't seen in a long time. Miguel, I'm so glad you're here. Don Alejandro, may I present Miguel Serrano? It's a pleasure, senor. My house is yours, senor Serrano. I believe you know my son, Diego. Yes, we have met. We have met. Uh, will you not sit down, Senor Serrano? Thank you. Lovely weather we've been having. But for this time of year. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you have a beautiful hacienda, Don Alejandro. Have you, uh, have you seen the patio? Uh, only to walk through it. 
It's lovely. Let me show it to you. Yes. Uh, Constancia, we will all show it to you. I am certain you will understand, senor. Constancia's father has placed her in my care while she's in Los Angeles. Oh, Uncle Alejandro. Uh, I understand perfectly, Don Alejandro. It is a little chilly out. I think you will need your shawl, Constancia. I locked my door. Force of habit, I guess. necessary to run. Thank you. Here, I'll, I'll do that. There, my dear. There you are. Uncle Alejandro? Uh, in a moment. through Constancia's belongings. But this is inexcusable. One moment, Father. Constancia is our guest. I think she may be involved in something. What? Perhaps we'll find the answer here. <laughs> well, what is it? For Constancia de la Torre on the day of her wedding with love, grandmother. This is her dowry. So it would seem. Then she is planning to elope with this Miguel, uh, what is his name? Well, I will put a stop to that right now. Wait. You mean I should stand idly by and watch Constancia ruin her life? <laughs> no, thank you. You're not going to solve a thing by rushing out there and shouting at her. I do not shout. I shall merely ask the young man to leave this hacienda. And uh, just how do you propose to explain the fact that you know about the elopement? Ah. Uh. I see what you mean. Well, we have to do something to stop this for her own good. How do we know that it's for her own good? This Serrano seems to be all right. Then why haven't they her father's permission? Why are they sneaking away? Sounds like fun. Diego, this is serious. It isn't yet. And if we can go on postponing the elopement, it may never be. And how do we go about this postponing? Well, we don't. <laughs> 